to jump into the game. Are you ready? Let's go. Boom, we're in Monster Hunter, actually. And all of that is made possible because of my dual PC setup and the stream deck. I can just press a button and start recording and boom. All of a sudden you have the different segments separated in a much more just accessible way. Okay, so we are rank 12 right now. And I've done a little bit of inventory management here. I think we're, we're, we have the most up-to-date weapon. Again, it's been a long time, so bear with me here. Let's take a look at the botanical dude. We had some stuff being cultivated. Collect. Take all. Yeah. And now I want to cultivate some Mandragoras. I think the Mandragoras do... Yeah, they do max potions. So we're going to want that. Uh, let's go ahead and proceed. So we're going to go with that and then go with a catalyst. I think. And let that sit for a while. Let's see if let's see if we can get into the next mission here. Stop it! How dare you? Ugh. Stop it! That's harassment, Pokedo. It's harassment. Okay, let's pop that a little bit. I think we can we can resume our Final Fantasy soundtrack here. Actually, I can show you guys one of my favorite soundtracks, the Rhyme OST soundtrack. So let's play through that. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Toss a coin to your star. Post new quest. So what's the new quest we have to do here? None. Mm. Oh, I think we had to talk to the... We have a couple of exclamation marks. I don't know what the hell is going on. Been out of this for too long. I love that Besaid track from Final Fantasy X. I love that, dude. It's such a good track. Joel says roughly how many hours of play to get you up to rank 12. Dude, I think about 20 hours. Maybe. Ballpark. Yeah. I don't know the exact amount. I can get back to you on that. Okay. Rewards received. Great. One cool thing. One of the reasons why I got back into Monster Hunter today. Is they've done a bunch of uh, graphical enhancements for the PC version. Including several new options. One of them is a sharpening... Hurry back now. Uh, system that just makes the image a bit sharper it looks pretty good and also DirectX 12 support so we're we're running it in in the X12 now I tried a little bit off screen and it looked like the FPS was quite stable so that's pretty good I, I like seeing them you know continue to enhance the game uh, I would also like to find the Taskmaster. Let's go to Canteen. So the, the Taskmaster is the, the useless lady that gives us, well, our tasks. Oh, yeah. Post a new quest. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't have anything pending. Did I finish everything in the planet? <laughs> Let's look at our map. It looks like we got to do an expedition. A sexpedition. Hey, partner. I shall stop bothering you guys because I need to go. Mads are kicking in hard. No problem. Good night, Pokedo. Cheers. Okay, so... Posting a quest is not going to do it for us. We need to go start an expedition. Let's go do that. Uh, oh, there's the objective on the top right, you dummy. 
Head to Elder's Recess. Okay. Let's do that. How's everybody doing this fine catter day? Per chance to dream. You know that we actually dream basically every night? Unless you have an actual disorder. But we never, we all, we rarely remember our dreams. So if you want to become a lucid dreamer. It all makes sense now. In other Get words, You've got control your dreams or be in control of your dreams. The first step is learn how to always remember your dreams. And the way you go about that, about doing that, there's a few techniques, but one of them is oh one of them is writing stuff down in like a journal or you, you could just do it on your phone if you want it my sleep paralysis demon is already waiting for me what is a sleep paralysis demon <laughs> what is oh one of those dudes. There we go. So we're looking for these footprints, basically. They, you can see there. We need to find enough of these footprints. We got some poop. No, that's stone. I hope I remember the controls, guys. It's been so long. We'll remember in time. I wonder if there's a way to find the, the the tracks outside of just, you know, running around and hope you run into them. So, sight all monsters in Elder's Recess. And then also search for evidence of the Nergigante. Very good. We'll take that. Yeah, so let's uh, let's have a a look see. We haven't really done a lot in this region. I think we maybe came here a couple times, or maybe even just a one time. So let's see what kind of monsters we got around here. If I remember correctly, we need to be level 16 to access the, the new content. So there's a fair bit of leveling we still gotta do. Hopefully, there isn't much outside of the oh lava area. Are we gonna die if we touch the lava? Hopefully not. Check out the footprint there. So anyways, ho my point was hopefully when the campaign is done, we're pretty close to, to that 16. Sweet 16. Isn't it weird that the whole thing with the sweet 16 with the quinceañera? Is that at that age, 15 or 16, the girl becomes a woman? Which, I mean, does she really at 16? I mean, I am not a woman. In case that wasn't abundantly clear, so I don't know. But it seems to me that you can hardly be considered like a, an adult in full use of your capacities at 16 right at least I wasn't I was an idiot <laughs> you know with all due respect and compassion to my old self so that's one of the things that scares me about the US the fact that you can drive a fucking car at 16 man that terrifies me and also when you put it in perspective Like, uh, you can't, you need to be 21 to get a beer, but you can, 
you can get in control of a fucking death machine, which a car can be, right? If not well controlled. And potentially kill someone if you screw up. And yet, you can do that at 16. I think in every state, right? In the US? That's certainly not the case outside of the US in most countries, uh, at least here in, in Europe. You gotta be 18 to get your license. Which I think makes a lot more sense. It's not like you magically become responsible when you turn 18, but... Still a better approximation. Lava Sioth. All right. That sounds like it's gonna be annoying with all of the lava and stuff. If you find it, then let's head back to Astera. Oh, we gotta head back now. That's a bit of a pussy move, but sure, let's go back. Heading back. A new cutscene has been added to the gallery. Woo! Totally gonna go back and watch those. Study Nerd Gigante's tracks more. We just don't have enough data yet. <clears throat> so, why do you make me return to base then? I don't understand. Only to make me return to the same spot? What are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? <laughs> So, the only weapon I know in the game is the Great Sword. Tutorial. The custom radial... And why are you showing me? I understand. See, so you've already shown me this tutorial, my dude. Nergi Gante has go. been here. Why was he wiping sweat from outside of his helmet? That's a great question, Joel. Believe it or not, that's not the most absurd thing you're gonna see in the game. It is a Japanese game. And very Japanese at that. <laughs> so as much as I enjoy the combat, there's a lot of silly stuff in it. But back to my point with the weapons, each weapon in this game is almost like a, an entirely different way of playing the game, you know? Like a different class in, a, in, a, in, a, in an MMO or something. So at some point we'll try other weapons, but for now we're gonna stick with this one. I more or less know how to use it. Go ahead and mind this. Sorry, sir. Just, uh... Just getting by here. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Noose? Welcome back, man. Oh. We got a Rathalos. I think that about does it for Nergigante evidence. Let's report back to the ecological research team. Okay. Let's go back. How's your day going, Noose? Cheers, man. I think in a little bit we're gonna grab a coffee and a cider to really crank things up a notch, but... Reward, thank you for that. I think we have enough data on Nergigante now. Want to report to ecological research? Ecological research. Okay, let's do that. Mm -hmm. What's up, little dude? 
There you are. I thought I should tell you the Admiral asked us to study Nergigante. And study it we did. We'll put a quest out soon. In the meantime, there's something you should know. Based on the evidence you provided, we figured out what it feeds on. And that's Elder Dragons. Shocking but true, Nergigante feels on Elder Dragons. Which does explain why we only see Nergigante during Elder Crossings and also why it hunted Zora Madgaros. There's only one way to classify a monster that can't be classified and that's to toss it into the Elder Dragon pile. Anyway, I just thought you should know... No, actually, there are many other ways you could classify it, right? It's totally arbitrary. Monster Field Guide updated Pink Rathian. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, 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 Pink Rathian. Flying Wyvern and Pink Rathian. A subspecies with vibrant pink scales. Pink Rathians wield their toxic tails more deftly than normal Rathians. Weakening prey with poison before going for the kill. Good. Let's go talk to the commander. Oh. You want to hey. talk to me? See, so you got your hands on some specialized tools. Different specialized tools will help you out in different ways when you use them on quests. Just don't forget to equip them. You can manage them in your equipment box, just like all of your other gear. Once you're out on, on the quests, you can use the specialized tools in the same way as items. For now, the equipment you got is all we've managed to complete, but more is supposedly coming down the line. Great. Thank you for that. What's Over up, dude? Here. I've got some good news. I just received word from the ecological research team that they've pinpointed Nergigante's location. Mm -hmm. We've waited a long time for this day to come. Nergigante has been as much a riddle to us as the Elder Crossing itself. For years upon years, we and the Nergigante have been eyeing the same prize from opposite shores. Studying our adversary could, uh, adversary could throw wide the doors to the Elder Crossing's deepest mysteries. Listen up. I want all hunters to begin. Sorry, you mean by all hunters, you mean me, right? Just to be clear on that. Sign up for the quest and head. Okay. Roger. Now, before we go out on the quest. Nergigante, the elder dragon that feeds on elder dragons. I'm glad you're excited. Although, once again, it's me who's gonna fight them, but sure. Take me to the workshop. Let's see if we can do any upgrades to our weapons. Oh. Later today, there's a, a stress test for the game called Temtem, which interestingly is an MMO kind of game, but based around the premise of Pokemon. So it's like Pokemon, if you want to think about that, but it's an MMO game, you can pair up with a friend and then do battles with other people there. So there's a stress test today and I got a, a key from Rijaku. We're gonna be checking it out. Uh, a lot of other people in our Discord are also gonna check it out. So if you wanna join the Discord and hop in and chat with us while we check out the game, there's a link for it right there. Anybody's welcome to join. Unless you're a a douchebag in that case don't don't join all right okay i don't know what you just told me but i'm going to look That's past it can we make any upgrades to our current weapons craft defender weapons you can now forge the defender line of weapons at the smithy, these weapons are geared towards the commission's defense core. These weapons feature high proficiency and are fantastic starter weapons for hunters who have just arrived in the new world 
as part of their research commission. Well, I mean, I'm not new. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to imply. But I'm, an, I, I'm a professional. Uh, let's take a look here. I think the best, the best, the best blade we had was this one. We do have the booming blade, which has poison. Seems pretty good. But the the Magda seems to scale very well and has blast damage, which that just sounds incredible. Let's do, let's take a look at our upgrade path. We would need more Zora Madgaros stuff. I think if we wanted to upgrade this one, the Tuda blade. Let's see here. Uh, this is what we got equipped. We can upgrade it and get basically a hundred extra damage, but we need more toxin sacks. We need more sacks. Uh, let's wish list. How do I? Oh, it's already in my wish list. So, search. How do I know where to get this stuff from? Hmm. Maybe we just kill some pookie pookies. Maybe that's it. Alternatively, we can also upgrade some of our gear, maybe. And use... I mean, I, I guess we just use everything, right? Oh, that takes it to max. We don't need all of those then. I don't know how all of this works, to be honest, but I'm just going to try to max out our gear if we can. Because everything adds up, you know? Every little bit of tankiness is going to help. Although I'm not super happy with the other body parts that we have, like the, the other gear parts. Black Steel Chopper. What's our upgrade? You go for Dragon Damage? You need a bunch of stuff I don't understand. Okay. I think we're gonna call it good now. Halico Equipment is fine. Manage Kinsects. Nurture? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Insect elements. Golshad. Okay. We'll leave it as is for now. Again, I'm slightly confused with some of this stuff, but... We're gonna do it. Let's go chat to the lady and let's head out. Speak to the handler. <laughs> handler sounds dirty. Also, we can eat a meal here. I love these dudes. <laughs> mm, that's making me hungry. We're gonna need to grab some pistachios in a little bit. Pay with money. Let's go attack up. That would be good. Yeah. These animations are so good, man. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Well, that does not look at all like the food they were preparing. <laughs> Oh man, that's so silly. All right, bud. Hey, partner. Let's go out on a quest. Jonathan, welcome back. That's an awesome grill, right? Oh, dude. Hmm. Grill master. I wish I could eat Nothing in the real us. world. That particular dish so time limit is 50 minutes uh, HR 13 or higher let's do it Woo! I hope you guys are doing well today the part if you want to join me you're free to do so. I'll leave a link with the with the party session number. So if you just plug that in, you can join us immediately. Dante, the only one who wants to find Zora Magdaros more than we do. Ah, you made it. On time, too. I like that. Perhaps the taste would be great, but the output experience. You're right, but I think it would be worth it, you know? I would take that trade. I mean, several times in the past, when I ordered food, I was like, mm, this is probably not gonna pan out great. But the short term gratification of it is so great that it was worth it, you know? Barrel deposit. I don't know what we need the barrels for. You know? What do you think, Basil? Probably gear stuff that I don't understand. So, when it comes to the weapon and stuff, I know uh, a few combos. I don't remember them very well. The, the basic combo is uh, loading the strikes as you see there, waiting until you get that kind of glow and then charge, but there's also ways to, uh, to to make it faster, so you can like, for example, there, we skipped one hit in the combo, so that's a two-hit combo, and it gets us to the final third hit faster. And the final third hit in the combo is the one that does the most damage. So, one one of the things you have to do as a great sword player is ascertain how much time you have available to hit and if it's not a lot of time then you you might want to do just a, a two hit combo instead of a three hit combo there's also like some other ways for example i'm trying to remind myself i don't remember all the controls but you can roll uh oh wrong wrong but okay <laughs> uh no that's not it sorry there was a way to do like a one hit combo. You can, I think you can roll. No, you, you guard, you roll. Okay, I, I almost got it. I, I need to figure it out. <laughs> Are there any changes on how multiplayer works with the DLC? I haven't gotten to the DLC yet, man. I'm trying to get there, finishing the main campaign here. So you can, you can roll roll into an attack and then you get to the final one so that's a little bit faster you can also block attack kick <laughs> i don't know what the kick is good for but you can kick do this oh okay so that's a little bit faster too so you go kick attack and get to the final okay so let's see if we can get there again so you block you kick and I think you need to do that and skip all the way to the third so that's a little bit faster 
If if we can only get one hit, that might be a good one. So it's cool. And then this is like if you have a bunch of time, you can do two big hits like this. Okay, good. So we have a few options there. These aren't like all the attacks, but these are the main ones that I'm familiar with. What? Whose dildo is that? <laughs> oh! What the fuck? What are those little dudes? What the hell's going on, man? Manu, what's up? I don't know why this game doesn't hit me. Seems like a very good game, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I really like it when it when it's hitting its stride, Manu, but there's a few things that make it pretty annoying. At times it's quite slow and feels quite grindy. Uh, be sure to use the SOS flare. Okay, we should do that. Now... I, I forgot how to do the flare. <laughs> Is it bear with me? It's been a very long time. Was it in communication? Okay. I think maybe it was in the menu. Let's see here. Fire SOS flag. Here we go. Get out of the way. Okay, so SOS uh, flare fired. Oh, ouch. Let's take a potion. Also, uh, I forgot. We. Oh. We have some other potions we should look at. Like the Mega Potion. Raises our max HP a fair bit. Oh, Ninja is waiting to join the quest. Here we go. Now, another really... Uh, important thing of of playing this type of character get that heal is the this jointing of attacks that you can do so when you do this little thing it's called a tackle oh okay that was a decent hit yuki chan welcome to the quest thank you thank you so that tackle thing is, if you time it right, like I did there, we disjointed that attack. We didn't disjoint all of them, obviously, but we disjointed a few of them. We're gonna die. Mega potion. Holy shit. Heal. Ah, there we go. Ivan joined the quest. Very good. This game has complex combat mechanics. I really like the game. But it was so tricky to play co-op. It can be, yeah. Because like, if you don't know what you're doing, it's so hard to learn, you know? It, it took me a long time to even get a bit of what I was trying to do. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, fainted. That was a bad hit. Maybe the MMO feeling? Yeah, I got the MMO feeling with a lot of those. Okay, great. Don't really care about your messages. Cheers. 
Right, so uh, do we have anything here that's useful? Let's grab these. We'll grab a few of those. Your character looks badass. Ah, thanks, Jonathan. Looks pretty dope, right? Uh, I need to get, like, matching armor. As you can see, there's, like, some parts of my armor that aren't matching the full set. But we'll get there in time. Uh, okay, so very important for us to take the... Nope, that was the wrong thing. Potion. Hmm. I don't, maybe I don't have a... Sorry, guys. I'm still very slow with this stuff. I want to take this. Can I not take it? I wish to utilize this. Okay. Let's get back to the monster. I don't remember where that thing was. So that potion is super important because it increases our HP bar. And we need that. It's the max potion. Is it give? Can't give. Give. No, I don't want to give. I want to use it. Have I already used it? I thought if I used it and then died, I just lost it, you know? Like I had to use it again. But I guess the effect is still on. Here we go. Boom! Charged hit. Ah. So you can see there, we did... We did maybe like 30% more damage because it was charged. Now, that wasn't a charged one, so it was like 80-something damage instead of 130. Go for the tail. Oh, here we go. Get that tail, boys. Ah, actually missed it. Okay, so whetstone. little poison in my blade and let's go the characters in Greedfall the game just repeated those lines every time every fight they would say the same lines over and over and over stop that oh somebody got on top here we go the fuck's going on there's fireworks mm, charge attack mm. there we go oh he's hurt already my team is so good what let's go see the admiral back at camp how is my team so good Loot this dude. What are we getting out of this? Growth plate. Or regrowth plate. Immortal dragon scale. Okay. Where did the tail drop? I wanted to, to grab the tail as well.
Hmm. Oh, that dude looks so cool. Oh man, that's the uh, the most awesome thing I've seen. The cat face. Oh, she looks pretty dope too. How you doing? Hey. Hello. Well, look who's still with us. You mean the person actually so we have doing elder the work? Dragons eating other elder dragons. Wonderful. That clears some things up. Yeah. We weren't looking at the big picture. Until we came to the new world, how could we know? <laughs> Nergi Gante came here looking for a feast. <laughs> and he made a real mess of the local ecosystem in the process. Here is good. Now that the problem child's been put to bed, the other elder dragon should revert to their usual behavior. <laughs> you did good. Thank you. So, you ready to go? What's wrong? No, there's a piece of the puzzle missing. Move our camera How a little bit. How this area end up becoming such a hotbed of energy in the first place? Enough energy to lure in a menace like that and convince it to switch habitats doesn't just naturally happen. I think this is gonna be okay. That looks pretty dope. Interesting character. And just take everything, I guess. Yeah. Hello, Basil. All right, gather around. Let's get council underway. As you all know, when Nergigante descended into the Elder's Recess, it stirred up a veritable hornet's nest. Being that Nergigante feeds on Elder Dragons, you can imagine that every monster in the Recess got spooked. Initially, I thought we could nip this problem in the bud by eliminating Nergigante, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Despite our best efforts, the situation has escalated. Elder dragons fleeing their Gigante's wrath have started invading other areas. Now we're coming across elder dragon tracks left and right. In the forest, among the wild spire, even in the rotten vale. Our team has managed to attribute the tracks to three distinct elder dragons so far. Emphasis on so far. Many of you have crossed paths with Elder Dragons in the Old World. You know the consequences of their cataclysmic power. And you know what dangerous adversaries they make. But no matter the danger, we have to seize upon this opportunity. We'd be fools not to. Finally! Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, yeah, all right. First things first. I want our field team to start gathering evidence. We need to track down these beasts and pinpoint their exact locations. So I've decided to split you into three groups. Field team leader, you'll be heading up the ancient forest investigation. And the Wildspire Waste, that one's yours. As for the Rotten Veil, vale, we'll be needing the Third Fleet's help with that one. I'll leave it up to these delegates to decide how to use the field team. Lastly, don't forget to relay your findings to the ecological research team once you've gathered enough evidence. Everyone clear? All right. Dismissed. Okay. Let's get to it. Now you're talking. This just keeps getting more interesting. 
Is it come on man, you couldn't afford the voice acting for this dude? What happened? <laughs> I'd like nothing more than to help you out, but I've got somewhere I, I need to be. An old friend told me he's trying to track down a place brimming with energy. There's been a surge in the veins of the earth. Do you mean there's been an awakening? He's planning to go and investigate alone. Well, Can't have that. Is. Now don't go blabbing about this to anyone else. Hmm. I don't have anyone else. The Everstream is a part of your system. I suspect the reason the Elder Dragons are still stirring despite Nergigante's disappearance is somehow related to this. Of course, I can't be sure, but I have a good feeling. Call it Admiral's gut. See ya. Okay. Uh, a message for you. I'll be waiting in the place beyond where all things converge. His words, not mine. Well, thanks for the riddle, my dude. But there's only one thing I hate more than lack of voice acting, and that's riddles. We'll leave it at that. Investigate the Awoken Dragon. Elder Dragons around the New World are stirring. Investigate the undertaking high rank expeditions and quests and gathering Elder Dragon tracks that your scout flies respond to in blue. Once you've collected enough research points, report back to the ecological blah blah blah. Okay. We if get the, the idea. Aren't showing any signs of settling down, then we'll have to look into it. Let's go investigate it. It's a, it, sorry, is it a stereo we have to go to? Actually, we gotta... It is a stereo, right? Yep. No. Actually, well, we got two things. We got the research base. And we got a stereo. Let's go to a stereo first. Wait, this is just our ship, isn't it? Hello, my cat. What's the problem, buddy? Come on. Come say hi to me. Good boy, Basil. How's your day going, buddy? Yeah. It's a small basil. <laughs> 16 bit heroes, what's up, man? How's your day going, buddy? I am slightly confused. Speak to the field team leader. Okay, let's look at our map. The map shows no useful information. See, I, I gotta tell you, man. Sometimes in this game, I just don't get it. Where do I have to go? Let's go to let's go to like the lower floor, and we'll look for those dudes. Just woke up so far. I miss this man. It has been a very busy time for me lately. I missed some of your streams. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, Jonathan. I have noticed that uh, you've been busy and, and not able to jump in. I hope everything is going well, man. Looks like we had to talk to these dudes instead. It's time. That was your problem with this game? Yeah, because it's my first Monster Hunter, so a lot of times I just don't get how right. things work. But luckily... Uh, luckily I have a, a, an inkling of how to use my weapon. You know, I have some... Some fairly effective ways of using it. <sighs> and I think it's one of the easiest ones to use as well. Together, okay. So that's good. And gotta speak to the third leader as well. Is that you? Hey! Literally don't care about what he has to say. About what he has to say. Mm. 
Where is the third leader? See, I always look at this icon here. And I'm like, oh, dude, that's where I, ha where I have to go for the mission. But it's not. Yeah, navigation is rough, dude. Navigation is rough. Like, for example, right now, right? My mission is speak with the third team leader. And I, I, I just... That, it, it, that's nowhere to be found on the map. Is it this? I don't know. It doesn't say. Okay, let's go explore one of the regions. We gotta go to the ancient forest. We'll go high rank. Start at a random camp. Uh, also, remember guys, if anybody wants to join, you're free to do so. All you gotta do is plug in our session number, which is this one, and boom. You can help me. So, it doesn't even remind me of what the mission is, does it? Like, I don't even know if it's gonna work. Pick up the Juicy Mandragoras, though. I don't know if it's gonna work. If we don't speak to the third leader, maybe it will. Did I see some blue? Did I see some blue butterflies? I believe that my most confusing yet awesome experience was the first time I played Demon Souls with no internet to help me understand how the game works. Oh, dude, that's daunting, isn't it? I also played that game. And it was so rough, man. It was the first Souls game I played. Needless to say, I was not ready for that experience. Did you like it overall? Like once you, Wait, once you got the, from the, Elder Dragon, the, field team leader the gist of how it works. Let's track it. 16-bit hero says we got a big winter storm hitting us right now. Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's so rude. Oh my god. Excuse me. No, I do not accept this. Die in a fucking fire. missed. Oh, he's actually dead. Wow. Here we go. Grab that material. But sorry, what was that 16-bit hero you were saying? You got a big winter storm hitting us right now, so it's going to be a cozy weekend. I foresee a lot of Sea of Thieves. You've been playing that lately a bunch? How's it going? Is this the expansion? Is shaped you into the play the Souls player you are today? It, it did shape me, yeah. Well, it was the, the foundation, I guess. This is not the expansion yet, dude. This is still the main campaign we have to get through. We need, like, um, three more levels, I think, until we're eligible to join the expansion stuff. Uh, KO, this is not the expansion yet. Johnny's finishing. Yep, you're finishing the main campaign. Brought you into the Amazing Souls universe. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know, man. I remember, so I remember distinctly 
the first time I heard about Demon Souls, this was way back. Like, way, I was still in university. What year was this? I'm trying to work it out. Probably like 2010, maybe? Anyways, I saw, at that time, I watched a lot of IGN videos. Like the Daily Fix with Naomi Kyle and stuff back in the day. And uh, also reviews from them. And there was this one review for Demon Souls that was almost a challenge, you know? The, the, the woman in the video said something like, This is not for everybody, but if you can, you know, I don't know, overcome and push the struggle, it's one of the most rewarding gaming experiences that she had had. And I was like, damn, that's pretty unusual to hear about a game. And so that's what got me into it. It's that curiosity. And then I picked up the game at that time. Uh, again, I was in university. I had a PS3, right? I didn't have a whole lot to play at the time. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to pick it up and see what, what's what. And at first I was so terribly confused. Like, I kept going... Uh, oh! Look, it's a little dude! With this palico helping us the investigation... Okay, cool. So, let's keep keep looking here. So... It's like the birth of the soul genre. Yeah, exactly. So, I got into it, and the weird thing was, I was so used to games that basically only gave you enemies that you could handle but demon souls straight away one of the first places you can go to is a, a really overpowered enemy that you're not really meant to kill early game but you can if you're good and so i was so confused i was like is there something i'm missing i didn't even consider the option of the game giving me an enemy so above my station, let's say. You know, that was so unexpected. So straight away I knew it was something pretty unique, pretty different than what I was used to. It was a combination of non-traditional for the time mechanics and the fact that it didn't hold your hand and ask you to figure things out by yourself. Yeah, yeah. And throughout the entire game, I had this feeling of dread about everything. There was never a time or a level where I was like, meh, it'll be okay, no matter what. Which I've felt in many other Souls games, even though it's difficult at times. I've always felt like things were gonna be okay, basically. But that one was rough, man. That one was... Wow. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure if I came back to it now, it would be maybe even the easiest. Maybe. Again, I, I can't... I don't know for sure. This is just what I think. Uh, but looking back, it seems not very difficult. Just uh, ju going by memory from what the enemies were. Like if I were to tackle those right now, I think I could, I could get through it fairly easily. But exactly, every step was uncertainty. Like, I dude, I still remember the first time. I st first thing is you're 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 thrust into this, not in a sexual way, but you're thrust into this hub. And you can choose from like several locations right off the bat. And you have no idea. Like, oh, you know, wh where am I meant to go? Uh, which is going to be easy? Like, no location's easy. You go to one, you get your butt kicked. And you say, oh, this must be like the hard location. Nope. That was probably the easy location. <laughs> but then the first time I stepped 
into... Oh, we got some tracks finally. The first time I stepped into uh, the Swamp Place. I'm trying to remember now what the name of it was. So there, I think there is like two or three swamp locations. One is a poison swamp. And when you think you got out of that, the game puts you into a plague swamp. I mean, just miserable. It's a miserable place to go through. One of those is in total darkness. Like, you have super limited light. You're getting through this plague swamp. And you're also invaded by an enemy NPC. And, of course, they can move very quickly through the muck. But you can't. Typical, right? That would have been a, a fun stream to see. I don't think so, man. That was awful. I died so many times, dude. You don't even know. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. I think that was maybe in the... Maybe in the early days of Justin TV. I certainly wasn't watching streams back then. Uh, no, actually, I think that was already... Twitch? Maybe? Because I think around that time... Dota 2 was already around. And by that time, I think we already had Twitch streams. Oh, it's so annoying to have to find all of these, like... Footprints. Found some Elder Dragon evidence. We're making good progress. If you say so. So yeah, that was a magical game, dude. Also, it had this crazy mechanic with the it was something called world tendency and basically what that means is you start with white world tendency and that means that enemies are uh, a, a little bit weaker and there are also certain events that can only happen in white tendency and then when you die the tendency starts to go gradually from white to black. And the more it does, the harder enemies get. And again, there are some events that only happen in either pure white or pure black. So there, there's so much depth in that game. Like if, if you want to get all the lore and interactions and all like different like story stuff uh, and events that can happen, you got to play through it many times. And really know what you're doing. After you completed Fallen Order or Master Level, you are on a different skill level yourself. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. It was... Uh, we, we definitely had some challenging fights. Even though it's uh, on the easier side compared to something like, you know, Dark Souls 3. It's certainly a, a, a very well put together game. It very tight combat is very tight in it responsive and cool enemy designs i think your actions also affected the world tendency like if you killed npcs you're right yeah you're totally right actually so you could do like a, a black tendency run black world tendency run or a pure white if you were able to not die. Remember, if you die even once, then the, the world tendency for, for that place is already not pure white. So, I mean, to, to even pull off a run like that, you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. I never got to that point. I only played through it once, and that was it. I was happy with that. Demon Souls came out in 20, uh, 2009. Justin TV became Twitch in 2014. Damn. That goes to show how unreliable our memories are. That's insane, dude. Crazy how Xbox 360 games 
are already becoming nostalgic. We must be getting old. That's right. I still remember uh, in that exact apartment that I was talking about, where I, w where I had my PlayStation 3, uh, one of my flatmates, Ruben, a good friend of mine still to this day, he had his Xbox 360. So I was always like, I've always had the Sony systems growing up. And he always had the Xbox systems. So, uh, so then the good thing is because we were flat sharing, we had both consoles, right? Hooked up to the TV. And I remember this one holiday I spent, I had a lot of days off and I spent them playing Mass Effect 1 on his Xbox 360 that he, of course, you know, he was happy to, to let me play on it. Uh, we shared a lot of stuff there in the flat. And man, I have such good memories of that shit. I also remember distinctly, I had very low hopes for the game because I wasn't in the mood for a sci-fi game. And it didn't seem like it was up my alley. Because at that point, I hadn't really played any like shooting games, even though Mass Effect is not a shooter. You guys know. About for Elder but it just felt very much outside of my wheelhouse. But dude, once I jumped into it, you guys know how it is, right? I, once I jumped into it and got thrust into that story, it was insane. I got totally hooked. Uh, and then the Xbox actually broke down. There was like some kind of issue. It wasn't the red, the the red eye thing, the 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 thing, uh, the thing that everybody got, but it was something like that. And and man, I I was horrified because it, it was under my watch, right? I, I was home alone at that time, and I was playing the game. And the next time I turned the console on, it just didn't turn on, and I was like, "Fuck, man, did I break this guy's console? What did I do?" And remember, at that time, I was a student in university. I had no money of my own. You know, my, my parents were were just really struggling to just give me a good education and stuff. So we didn't have a lot of money to go around. And I was like, dude, what do we do? In the end, it was fine. He, he wasn't, you know, he was fine about it. He's a really cool dude. He was just like, uh, no worries, man. Let's just send it over to, you know to the to the tech people and they'll fix it so I just helped him with that and it was good good times man it's good memories there first Mass Effect I got into was uh, 3 and it was post Skyrim RPG for you you loved it the red it was so it wasn't the red ring of death but it was something like that where the console just stopped working for no apparent reason I don't to this day, I don't know what happened. Sometimes that that's just how it goes, isn't it? The first human specter chasing Saren. Oh, dude, so good, right? The whole stuff with the... With the specters. Like, it was so interesting, you know? Come on, little buddy. Most hunters choose to use the longsword. Conversely, very few use the hunting horn. Your weapon ranks number four in popularity. You can have this. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, dude, it's so crazy how long ago that is when you stop to think about it. Oh, it's a pookie pookie. This pookie evidence pookie, is totally toxic different waste. from the other stuff we've seen. Guys, help a noob out. Is there any way for me to locate where the footprints I'm looking for are aside from the blue butterflies? Because the blue butterflies just never appear. I don't know how to trigger the blue butterflies. 
Is it really just running around until you find stuff? Don't want any of that. So Demon Souls is this crazy game. You start off, right? And the the first or well the the world most people go to first is this place filled with skeletons, filled with like dead skellies. How do we get up there? Through here? Oh. So filled with dead skellies. And you think to yourself, these dudes look pretty weak, right? And then you realize they have more stamina than you, and they do more damage than you. And you're like, what? Again, you just never expected that back in the day. It was crazy concept. And then you start to get through the area, and you thought those skellies were hard, and then you realize, oh, right, the skellies were easy. That's what's going on. Is this crossplay? It's not, sadly. No. I am profoundly lost. Need assistance. This is what I'm saying. A new player to the game in Monster Hunter that doesn't already know how things work can just be stuck running around for actual ages. So the only information we have is that we have to run around the map and that the blue butterflies will tell us where the footprints are and we need to find the footprints, okay? Now you're left to your own devices outside of that. There's no indication of like where to go. Oh! Blue butterflies, there we go. Totally random. No strategy involved. Just randomly ran into that spot. It looks like we found all the ones that we need, is that correct? Let's go ahead and, and uh, leave this place. Return from Sexpedition. Uh, this is the PC version, man. I should add that to my stream title, actually. Thank you for that. Uh, let me add that to our description so that folks know. PC. Take all. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. I think we have enough data on the ancient forest now. Want to report to the ecological research team? Let's go do that. Hello. Still in one piece, then. We figured out what Elder Dragon is patrolling. What Elder Dragon is patrolling? The ancient forest and where you can find it. The Elder Dragon's name is Kushala Daora. That's right, the Tempest of the Wind. They command a wide territory, so you've probably heard of many sightings in the old world or sighted a few yourself. If one is living here in the new world, then we have to study it. We simply must. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we gotta speak to the third fleet master. Now, if I was a fleet master, where would I be? Can't wait until crossplay is the standard. Like USB C. Oh, dude, don't get me started on USB C. Yeah. Did oh, we already right. talk to you? Uh, be careful. Kushala Daora. Didn't expect to see one in the new world, too. Okay, so we got a quest there already. 
I think maybe the the other fleet master is in a different location. Okay. So before we do that, I'm gonna grab a cider real quick. So just bear with me. I will be right back. Cider time, boys. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Woo. Jonathan, am I officially an influencer? <laughs> Dude, what are you playing on, Jonathan? Do you have this? Which uh, system do you have this on? Coffee time for you. Cheers, buddy. Take care. And... This is a berries and cherries old mouth cider, which I actually like quite a bit. This cider is like a treat for me. I love having it. Uh, all right, cool. So it looks like we got one quest at least. Let's go and do that. Post a quest. Dragon of Steel. Ooh. Okay. All right, so we're gonna cut this segment here for our good folks on YouTube and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>